A screw shape cut on a shaft is the worm, the mating gear is the worm gear, worm wheel, and together on non-intersecting shafts is called a worm gear set. The worm gears are widely used for transmitting power at high velocity ratios between non-intersecting shafts that are generally, but not necessarily, at right angles. It can give velocity ratios as high as 300 to 1 or more in a single step in a minimum of space, but it has a lower efficiency. The worm in a worm gear set is considered to be the pinion of the gear set, because a worm has very few threads or teeth. A worm gear set has a very high gear teeth to pinion teeth ratio. Worm gear sets are generally used in situations, where a large speed reduction with a subsequent large in torque is needed. The worm gearing is classified as non-interchangeable, because a worm wheel cut with a hop of one diameter will not operate satisfactorily with a worm of different diameter, even if the thread pitch is same. The worm, which is the driving member, is usually of a cylindrical form having threads of the same shape as that of an involute rack. Axial pitch is also known as linear pitch of a worm. It is the distance measured axially, that is parallel to the axis of worm, from a point on one thread to the corresponding point on the adjacent thread on the worm. Worm helix angle is the angle between the tangent to the thread helix on the pitch cylinder, and the axis of the worm. Worm lead is the linear distance through which a point on a thread moves ahead in one revolution of the worm, for single start threads, lead is equal to the axial pitch. But for multiple start threads, lead is equal to the product of axial pitch and number of starts. Lead angle is the angle between the tangent to the thread helix on the pitch cylinder, and the plane normal to the axis of the worm. The threads of the worm may be left-handed or right-handed. There are two types of worms, cylindrical or straight worm, and cone, or double enveloping worm. The cylindrical or straight worm is most commonly used. The shape of the thread is involute helicoid of pressure angle 14.5 degree for single and double threaded worms. The cone or double enveloping worm is used to some extent, but it requires extremely accurate alignment. The worm wheel or gear, which is the driven member, is similar to a helical gear with a face curve to conform to the shape of the worm. Helix angle is the angle at which the gear teeth are aligned compared to the axis. The important three types of worm gears are, straight face worm gear, hobbed straight face worm gear, and concave face worm gear. The straight face worm gear is like a helical gear in which the straight teeth are cut with a form cutter. Since it has only point contact with the worm thread, therefore it is used for light service. The hob straight face worm gear is also used for light service but its teeth are cut with a hob, after which the outer surface is turned. The concave face worm gear is the accepted standard form and is used for all heavy service and general industrial uses. The teeth of this gear are cut with a hob of the same pitch diameter as the mating worm to increase the contact area.
because of the helix of the gear teeth, worms and worm wheels produce axial thrust forces. The directions of thrust depend on the hand of the helix and the direction of rotation. The bearings must be selected properly to be able to handle these thrust forces. Worms and worm gears can be mounted on a hub or shaft. A hub is a cylindrical projection on one or both sides of a worm or worm gear, often for the provision of a screw or other shaft attachment mechanism. Hubless gears are typically attached via press fit, adhesive or internal keyway. One or more square cutouts exist in the gear bore for exact mounting on the shaft. The gear is attached to the shaft by screws through the hub. The hub is split into several pieces that are tightened down by a separate clamp to grip the shaft. A straight bore designed for adhesive attachment. There are three different types of gears that can be used in a worm drive, non-throat, single enveloping and double enveloping worm gear sets. Non-throat worm gears don't have a throat, or groove, machined around the circumference of either the worm or worm wheel. Non-throat worm gear, is a helical gear with a straight worm. Tooth contact is a single moving point on the worm drive. Both the worm and the driven gear is not throat. A single enveloping worm gear set is the type in which the worm gear is throat, so that it wraps part way around the worm. The contact area or mesh between the worm and the worm gear is significantly increased by this arrangement, and allows a larger load to be carried across a single gear mesh. In a double enveloping worm gear set, the worm is also throat so as to wrap part way around a throat gear. Double throat usually called a cone of hourglass, this type has concave teeth on both the worm screw and the gear itself. Double enveloping worm gearing comprises enveloping worms mated with fully enveloping worm gears. This arrangement further increases the contact between the worm and the worm gear, so this type of gear set can carry even larger loads than a single enveloping worm gear set of the same size.